Hey, what's happening gamers and Gothamites? Welcome back to LEGO Batman 2 on the 3DS. We're heading into the dark Bat Cave. Well, the LEGO Bat Cave. And uh, if you remember the console version, they actually go into the Bat Cave for kind of a story aspect. But in this one, it's kind of like your hub world. Um, different areas of it will unlock other parts of the game that you can explore after you beat the game. Cool. And the Batcave is more or less a carbon copy of the one that we see in the console version. It's mm -hmm. just more of a bare bones one. So it's not as detailed. Yeah. And you can't leave. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's, there's no leaving in the Batcave. Oh, and you can't like go out and like, drive around and explore then. No. Uh, no. Hardware limitations. Yep. I like to think of this as the studly bat cave because it has studs in it. Ah, I see what you did there. <laughs> so this elevator leads up to the Wayne Manor, but Ooh. we can't do it in this game. So it's just kind of like a, a place where it's we can go get there. a little bit of studs. And that is the Vicky Vale theme, of course, I believe. Yep. This is where Vicky you will make uh, custom characters. Vicky Vale. I can't do it like Chuck. Vicky Vale. <laughs> Okay, now, immediately you're going to notice that this little bald guy kind of looks like the Lego Dick Grayson in the upcoming film. In fact, he's almost identical. Okay. He has a red sweater and blue jeans. Wow. This is the base Lego in Lego Batman 2, and this was back in 2012. Interesting. So who knows? Maybe the planning for that Lego Batman movie started way back when. Yeah. Or maybe they got inspired by this and they were looking at, you know, old footage or pictures of it. It's possible. I don't know. I mean, it's identical, so I mean... But you, you never know. know. Yeah, maybe they were planning for it. And yes, I am definitely going to be removing the load screens because, well, I mean, you know, the 3DS isn't really a beefy memory-based system, so yeah. there are a lot of load screens even in the levels. So it's easier just for a more streamlined experience for you guys watching to just cut them out. Yeah, I mean, so. there's nothing going on, so... Oh, and before I forget, uh, Paper Mario is coming back. You can look forward to that on January 20th. So, um, we, we wanted to take a break with um, a lot of RPG stuff, but we did finish a bunch of RPGs. Um, Mario just took a long time, and so did Pokemon. And for today, we are just going to be playing through this game so that it's all done. Because it's not that long of a game, actually. Because Lego Batman And it's is fun! Awesome. It is lots of fun. I've actually been smiling the entire time. Because smiling is my favorite. All right, so when we brought in the Batcopter up there, those are exclusive Justice League missions that they oh. will not let you um, undertake until after you finish the game. I love the Batmobile, the Lego Batmobile. It's so cool. It reminds me of the Batman Forever Batmobile, though, so I'm not a big fan of it. Oh, right. Yeah, because it's really crazy with the wings on the back. Yeah. Plus, the Keaton Batmobile was superior. So, this is where you uh, pick your um, level destinations. Oh. Okay. So, our next one is called Arkham Estate. And we're going to jump right into that after exploring more of the Batcave. Nice. So over here would be where the bat boat would be docked, but it's not here. Bat boat. Bat boat. Na, 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 na. I love bat the Cape Glide. Boat. Cape Glide is awesome. And that pretty much does it for the uh, tour of the Bat Cave. You can see the kryptonite underneath there. Um, that is. I don't think I showed. Oh yeah, the, the kryptonite. Yet. Um, this computer right here is where you will unlock characters that you found. So, I mean, we're just starting the game now, so there's not really that many characters that are available other than the other Robin costume. Mm -hmm. So, that would be... Yeah, we just... Right there. So, I already unlocked this previously, which I didn't show. He costs about 8,000 studs, I think, something like that. So that's the classic Robin costume. Oh, okay, nice. Um, I have not unlocked uh, Bruce Wayne or Tim Drake's secret identities in this game. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe Dick Grayson and Barbara Gordon also have secret identities in this as well. Ooh. So there's hints and there's other things that you can do in this. All right. Nice. So the Batcave is all done. So we can just jump into the mission. And we're going to pay no attention to my cell phone. 
All right, <laughs> it's time for Arkham Estates. Okay, so they cut out a lot of stuff. Yeah. Basically, Lex Luthor came by and let everybody out of Arkham. Yep. Oh, yeah, they did cut out all that stuff. Aw, <laughs> Boy Wonder Shy. Aw, that's cute. You can head her off in the maze. Nope, Troy's voice got a little different there for a second. Yep. All right, so this is completely different than how you fight Catwoman and knock her off her bike in this one. Like, I don't even think she's in her bike at all in this one. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, the, the principle's still the same. You're supposed to use the plant things and, you know. Yeah, a lot of different little puzzles and go back and forth around here. Yeah, but I, I like this one better because it doesn't have that annoying pit that's in the console version. Oh, my gosh, I know. Yeah. Yeah, uh, well, Arkham still looks really cool in this game, but yeah, they missed the entire thing where they they uh, broke different people out of jail and stuff with the Yeah, because the Lex gun. shows up with his gun, and again, it had to do with hardware limitations of the 3DS. Yeah, because that was one of the funniest scenes, actually, where Lex and the Joker kind of like... Man, he's like, give me back my watch. Fighting for power or something, yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly, give me back my watch. Yep, he did do that. Well, it also showed that, you know, Lex was trying to show kids that it's good to share their death rays or whatever. Or their, in this case, their <laughs> Lego deconstructor ray. Yep. The thing that shoots that black beam that's able to yeah. uh, mess with Batman's technology, which uses black bricks. The Joker and Lex learned about sharing. Yeah, more or less. <laughs> Although they were kind of fighting in the chopper, so that's yeah, why a yeah. lot of the Arkham inmates came out. Yeah. Because Joker wanted to play with the gun, too. Oh, wait. These must be Poison Ivy's, like, crazy clone plants or something. Yep. You called it. So we're going to need Robin's uh, water hazard suit in order to bypass the goo. I don't know. I just think all I ever needed to know... Well, I'll say all I never needed to know about Batman I learned from K-Wing, but also from the animated series. I learned, like, a lot from that because it's like, oh, I know that. I saw that on an episode of the animated series. They actually released something for the animated series that you guys, I mean, they've talked about it at conventions. I mean, mm -hmm. for the collectors out there, they released the animated series Bible, which is basically all of Paul Dini, Bruce Timms, and a lot of the early, like, people's brainstorming ideas for what they wanted with Batman the Animated Ooh. Series. It's a lengthy book that contains all of their, like, early 90s, late 80s, like, uh, brainstorming ideas for Batman the Animated Series. And surprisingly, wow. most of the content that's written in this book ended up being episodes or adapted from the comics. They wanted wow. to do Bane. They wanted to do no origin stories. They wanted a terrifying mm. Joker, like, from the Screaming Mimis slash, like, um, the movie It and Nicholson's Joker, but they also wanted to make him kid-friendly, so they talk about, like, the smile thing, and they created mm -hmm. the sidekick Harley Quinn because they felt, because Batman had, like, a, um, a polar opposite that yeah. Joker needed um, that. But at the same time, they were like, wouldn't it be cool as if Harley wasn't different from the Joker, but that she was running with his motif even more than Robin runs with Batman's? Because oh. Robin is light and happy... So Harley would be the same as Joker, except, you know, a crazy, emotional woman. Yep. Yep. And that, you know, turned out to be brilliant. So. Yeah, actually, I never even thought about that, cause, because Robin runs with... He's kind of got the crazier, more colorful outfit of the two. He's, like, even more so. Like, he takes it a step further. And that's kind of how Harley Quinn does it, too. She takes the, the idea of a clown and takes it even, like, a step further. Yeah, that's actually... Yeah. They also said in that book that they own... Or the scraps, or whatever. And and this this was rumored to be in existence long before it was actually released as a book that you guys can buy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they talked about it at conventions that they had, like, this huge... Um, they called it the, the the Batman Bible or whatever because it's it's a compiled thing of like all kinds of notes and things like that. It's like a big cool. dictionary I'll have to or look it up online whatever. Or something. 
But um, the most important thing that they did for the animated series, which a lot of people still need to follow, is they did no origin story. Yeah, that's... They, they went I, right into it. That's kind of... I mean, I think that makes a really good action-type show because then you learn bits and pieces as you continue to watch the show. Because they, you don't know anything, and you it keeps you hooked See, on the show. You need the Flash for this. That's the Cosmic oh, Treadmill. Oh, that is the Cosmic Treadmill. And that treadmill. will unlock either a red brick, or that'll be a character. That's a Poison Ivy spot. See, that's why I really liked the original. That was one of my favorite things about the original Star Wars movies. Because they didn't tell the origin, and you just got smack dab right in the middle of like a firefight you know between people and then Darth Vader shows up you have no idea who this guy mm-hmm. is that's what I think made it so great was not knowing it's like all these extra things that you don't know and I think like that's what kind of keeps it a little bit of mystery to it you know? exactly yep yeah so I think that was great that was Boom. a great idea because when Bane came on the scene it didn't have a whole you know, story with Osito and everything. He just was Bane. You know, the only just thing that I wish they did, and I understand that they had a limited budget by the time they brought in Bane. Yeah. But I mean, you know, I believe they wanted to do a lengthy story arc with Bane, mm-hmm. and like not cripple Batman because they didn't they didn't want to cripple him, but they wanted to make Bane this bigger threat. Yeah. But they didn't. They were so like um, constricted by what Fox would allow. Oh, what right. the time restrictions were because they called the animated series mini movies. Yeah, um, yeah they did. But I still, even though it was a great depiction of Bane, and I like that they turned him into a luchador, and they got like a famous uh, Spanish actor to be the voice. His voice was fantastic. Um, it was like phenomenal. It was ra- wrapped up way too quickly. Like mm-hmm. in 20 minutes, Bane is introduced. You know what Bane is hired to do. He kidnaps Robin, and then Batman takes him down. And it's just kind of like, it should have been a two-parter. Yeah. Or I would I really thought they were going to bring him in in another episode um, later on or something. But I don't know if they had more than one episode of Bane or not. But I can't remember. I not remember with the, the good one. style animation, no. Oh, they brought him later with the, the Red yeah, Sky the series. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I liked the red sky on that, but I didn't like anything else about it. Yeah, that's totally a Superman puzzle. So we can't... You would have to come back here with free play in order to go in there. I know. Oh, my gosh. We might do it. I mean, free play is confusing. I mean, we'll we'll see what the... It all depends on the reception, guys and gals. I mean, if you guys really love this, I have no problem sitting here on the couch the next time. Amber and I are going to go through this game today. Um, It should take about two and a half hours. Um, something like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, the, well, two to three. To go through it again with free play, we would have to see, like, this is something you guys want to watch, or we really have to go to the next series because I don't want another Pokemon and I don't want another. Um, you okay, watch didn't do too yeah, bad. That took, yeah. But, you know, Paper Mario and Pokemon took way too long. Yeah, I mean, I think I like just. <laughs> oh, why, Batman? Why? See, Catwoman's not in her bike at all. Yeah, she's not. Um, because yeah, in the other console version, they you were have to stop to, her bike. Yeah, you have to stop they, the vehicles. You, you have to dodge, and then yep. you have to stop it. Yep, 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 yep. She's always chasing you. Yep. Uh, should be. That's a cool picture. Also, notice the uh, bat symbol over there. It's kind of like an homage to Batman Forever. Oh, okay. Yep. There's tons of hidden little Easter eggs. I know, so much. Poison Ivy. And, of course, her plant people. I think, well, it was before they really made... Wait, no, some of the Arkham... Ah, how many Arkham games had been out by the time they made Lego Batman 2? Two. Two. Oh, okay, all right. But still, even so... so Although, I mean, I... Lego Batman 1 beat Arkham to the market. Wow. Like, they just canceled the uh, Gotham by Gaslight Batman game. And, uh... you know, they also canceled the Dark Knight video game because of Heath's passing. They canceled development um, because they couldn't get him. They didn't want to replace him, and they weren't really ready to release the game until the following year anyway, 2009. So they canceled it. Yeah. And there's still really not that much information involved. All we know about the canceled Dark Knight movie game 
is it was going to feature voice acting from the characters. It was going to have a Cape Glide mechanic and an open world to explore. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I don't even think the other Warner Brothers people knew that Rocksteady and, and Square Enix were working on a Batman video game. Because Square oh, actually right. helped Rocksteady make the first um, Arkham game. It was oh, produced wow. by uh, Warner Brothers and Square Enix. I did not know that. They didn't do the second one. That was to- that was all Rocksteady. And that's why I really believe that... Arkham City is the superior Arkham game. Even after, like, Arkham Knight and yeah. Arkham Origins and things like that, it's just superior. Yeah, Rocksteady did a great job. Because if you really think about Arkham Asylum, it has that kind of survival horror aspect mm-hmm. that a lot of Japanese companies are very good at, like, um, bringing yeah. to the table. Yep. So, I mean, that was Arkham Asylum, which was done by Square. But yep. um, I don't know how long Arkham... Or Lego Batman 1 was in development, but it beat out everything to the table, and until Arkham Asylum came out, it was the best Batman game that was ever made. That's exactly what I was thinking. I can remember people saying, who would have thought that the best Batman game to date would be a Lego game? And it was. The only thing missing from that game is they reskinned Batman to go with away from the Keaton look, even though that the Lego toys or the Lego figurines that released you know, in 2008 and prior was the, the Keaton black and yellow. Yeah. But for whatever reason, maybe as like kind of more of a homage to the Keaton films, Batman goes back to his, you know, his uh, black and yellow. Yeah, definitely. Maybe they were trying... I almost thought they were trying to make Lego Batman his own Batman. Mm-hmm. But it was like, I think they kind of had to go back to like a uh, Keaton look because... I love the Keaton look, It though. just looks so cool on a Lego. I never thought that a black costume with a yellow bat oval and utility belt would look so cool. You know? I know. And then you wanted it so badly to be in the comic books, and it only he only had that suit in the comics for like four years, and it wow. wasn't until the late 90s, you know? Yep. Well, yeah, I mean, it reminds me a little bit of the animated series, too. With the symbol in the middle and the... Uh, I don't think he has color. the black costume in Lego Batman 3, does he? I don't remember. I don't know. It might be a different costume. It might be more of a gray. I'm going to have to look back at it. Yeah, it might be very dark gray. I don't know. Well, we know he only wears black and very dark gray, so... <laughs> <laughs> I might have to watch that Lego movie again in, in order to hype up the uh, the sequel coming out. Yeah, definitely. I'm very excited about it, but there's there's some things I don't like about this. This is annoying boss battle. I will tell you... How is you, she invisible? She's a stealthy cat thief. Yeah. So, do you remember Batman Rise of Sinzu, the Scarecrow boss battle, where he disappears and you yeah. have to punch the air and try to find him? Yes. The Catwoman and the Scarecrow boss in the 3DS version is similar to that, except it's not as bad. To kind of tell the player where Catwoman and Scarecrow are hiding... You'll get kind of like these bat radar thingies that appear over his head. They're like mm-hmm. kind of like these little yellow markers, and they yeah. tell you where. See, see how it's like. Oh kind yeah, of, yep, yep. Otherwise, yep, you would I just see. run around aimlessly yeah, forever. Yeah, you definitely would. I think Catwoman looks really cute in this game, though. That's her hush costume, or her Jim Lee modification costume oh, from okay. the uh, early two thousands. Yeah, which is actually kind of a cool Catwoman costume. She's very cute. She's very adorable in this. Because, I mean, he wanted to go with more of a sleek, um, you know, cat burglar-like look, but he also wanted to um, go with the Michelle Pfeiffer look a little bit, so that's why it was kind of all black. It it does remind me of Michelle Pfeiffer a little bit. Well, what did I do wrong? Oh, I have to hold it in. Okay. I can do that. Onward, Robin. And Two-Face. Now, this is an entirely new area that is not available outside of the mobile version. Ooh. This is kind of like um, over by the, the, the dam in Arkham, which I didn't even know Arkham had a dam. I know, me neither. Except in the animated series, it did. It was like, it wasn't an island. It was like by a dam, because remember, the, um, the Scarecrow tries to poison in... I'm trying to remember the name of the episode. It wasn't Perchance to Dream. It was, um... 
the episode where Batman goes crazy after being doused with the fear toxin and ends oh, up in Arkham. Oh, yeah. So he has to go underground to um, stop the Scarecrow from poisoning the water supply, which that same idea was used in the Batman Begins movie. Like, you know, almost oh, 10... Oh, yeah, it was. 10 to 12 years later. It was used after the animated series episode about it. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. I didn't even remember that. Wow, and Scarecrow was the one who did it in the anime series. Exactly, yep. Oh my gosh, it was taken basically right from that. But it was also adapted from a story from the yeah, comics. But so it was the same story from... I, but still. I really loved Nolan's like research team. That's part of the reason why his Batman movies were so good is because of his excellent attention to detail in the Batman mythos. Mm-hmm. And bringing characters that were not mainstream and making them... So awesome! Oh yeah, he made. Uh, I thought Scarecrow was pretty, pretty scary because I didn't think he was gonna be too scary because he was just a doctor. Mm-hmm. But the way that they made him, it was like he was. He ended up being scarier than anyone else in the entire movie. So yeah, definitely. That's it's amazing. the skinny, lanky guys that you have to worry about. I know it's amazing when you can take someone that you don't think is really gonna be that big of a deal, and then make them like the the biggest bad guy for that movie. It's pretty. <laughs> totally, yeah. It's a pretty good accomplishment, I think. Whoops. Yeah, you have to worry about the skinny lanky gangs, definitely. So, um, I'm just letting you guys and gals know, too, that there's going to be more of a resurgence of 3DS games. This is the last year of the Nintendo 3DS. We have a lot of really great 3DS games that we never looked at, really, because the technology wasn't really there to record. Um, but now that we have, like, the... I love my new 3DS capture card, like, so much that I really want to go back and, like... You know how we usually have about, like, three series going at a time? I would always mm-hmm. love for one of those series to be either a DS or a 3DS game. Because I, yeah. I think it brings in another audience on top of the people that like watching us beat the tar out of one another in either Disney Infinity versus or Injustice or whatever. Yeah, so. yeah definitely, and... So many people have 3DS, so... Mm-hmm. Oh, that would have been a perfect place for a Wilhelm scream. <laughs> Missed opportunity. Yeah. That guy's just... Go flying! Oh, uh, nice job, Robin. I was denied. Yeah, we're playing as the uh, Jason Todd version of Robin right now. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh... I can't believe the 3DS, but they're just, they just made the new 3DS, so it's like... It's so much gonna, for Two Faces Van. You mean they're d- going to discontinue the old 3DS, but they're going to keep going with the new 3DS? I hope something. they make another... I really... A lot of people are saying that the Nintendo Switch is their console hybrid, but I really hope that's not the case. I mean, I love that it's portable, and I love that they'll probably get more developers and stuff like that, but this will be the first time in history that there's been no new Nintendo portable, if yeah, that's and, the case. And 3DS is so great. It has so many great things. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't change a thing. I would just keep making it. Like, I would I would buy that forever, you know? I love my pink 3DS, and I'm just starting to finally get to some of the games on there that I haven't gotten to. Well, yeah, we have hundreds of 3DS games. Like, I, we actually collected more games for the 3DS than we did for the Nintendo DS. And I thought our N- Nintendo DS collection was pretty big at 80. We have, like, almost 300 3DS games. And, you wow. know, this I, that tells you how many good, you know, how great uh, the game selection is on the 3DS. Yeah, definitely. And everybody says Nintendo doesn't have the developer support. They never had it on the console, but on the 3DS, yeah, on the so handheld, many good games. They definitely so many it. good games. I mean, I really, I mean... I hope Nintendo doesn't say, oh, well, we already have a sort of handheld, so we're going to get rid of an excellent handheld, because if it's pretty good at handheld and awesome on the TV, but it's not amazing on handheld, then I think you still need that amazing handheld system in addition to it, you know? I know, but people are saying the fact that it's a cartridge-based system like the 3DS, and it utilizes that really fast technology, that the Nintendo Switch is a combination of the Nintendo console market and the Nintendo portable market, uh, and that's why they moved both both teams closer together. Like, Nintendo before had their teams separated. Yeah. And now, like, all their departments are, like, working more in tandem with one another. I am hoping that they keep uh, some sort of 3DS. I, I know that 
Oh my gosh, I don't want, I do not want to lose the 3DS. <laughs> I don't want to. Yeah, Two-Face is like, I don't want that to happen either. <laughs> That's so, what made Two-Face go crazy. Yeah. He's um, like, oh no, console portable, console portable, what should I do? Choices, I'll decisions. Flip a coin. <laughs> yeah. So we would need Robin's free suit or Mr. Freeze. Ow. Or some other characters. Yeah. Oh, I love Robin's free suit in the uh, console version. He actually, he kind of looks like uh, Captain Cold from the Flash TV show in this oh one. Oh my gosh. Like in the 3DS version. Yeah. I know, I was just re-watching some of the old uh, Flash season one. That was, that was a lot of fun. Booyah. Alright, okay, now I know. So, we have to take the, and put the bombs there. Yeah, I can't believe how dramatic season one was of the Flash, like... Even rewatching it, it's so like almost hard to watch because it's danger and like there's like good. It's like watching a Korean dramedy because there's really amazing stuff that happens and then the next second something really terrible happens. That's really scary. Yeah. See how awesome the combat is in this. Yeah, though? definitely. Like you knock the guy down and then you like do a cool like takedown. So long, Two Face. But yeah, this mm -hmm. was not in the original. It was kind of a bummer, but you know. Yeah, and that's like the Two Face from the Keaton movies. Mm -hmm. Although it should have been Billy D. Williams as Two Face. Mm, oh yeah, it should have been. I mean, I understand that Billy D. Williams' like career wasn't that of Tommy Lee Jones in the early '90s, and they were trying to remove all influence of uh, Bruce, not Bruce Tim, um, <sighs> Burton. Yeah. But they should have yeah. had Billy D. Williams be Two Face because he he already was on the contract. So what's really cool, though, is Billy D. Williams is playing Two-Face in the Lego Batman movie coming out February 10th. Oh, really? Yep, he finally gets oh to play gosh. the character. Well, there you go. They they took care of that. Well, it's going to be more of a campy version, but, you know. That's okay. I'm really glad he got his chance to finally be Two-Face in a Lego thing. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Exactly. That was pretty exciting. Uh, Good job. Yeah, I... I like how Robin, even though they make fun of him, he still has awesome combat moves in this game. Yeah, totally. Alright, so we've unlocked uh, some more stuff that we can do. It's awesome. Very excited about that. Now, Good job. I don't like when this happens, though. So we're on, we're on the continue screen here. It kind of kills the music. But uh, anyway, guys and gals, that does it for this episode. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Make sure you check out uh, Power Rangers that's uh, going on now. And we have another episode of Lego Batman 2 for you tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until we meet again, God bless and happy gaming. See ya!